All right, so now we're going to focus on uh, setting up assignment weights in the SIS 360 gradebook. If you're an SIS Classic user, uh, that video has also been made and posted on the same link page. So we're going to go into a course. In SIS 360, we just go across for the name of the course and look for the Grading Do button, and that is where our uh, button is to get into the gradebook. Once we get into the gradebook, we will see that we have our progress column, our term column, and our semester column. And so these equations uh, need to be uh, set up if you are going to weight specific categories. If not, by default, it's an average of all assignments scenario where it doesn't matter if you're calling your assignments class work or class participation, homework, or test. It's just averaging them all together. And that's fine if that's how you're calculating your grades, but this video is focusing on those teachers who want to give specific percentages uh, to certain types of assignments. So um, we're going to go to the uh, Assignments tab to do this in 360. So we go to Assignments. And we scroll down to the bottom list of our assignments and you will see you have two items that are linked. You have RCGP, uh, which stands for um, Report Card Grading Period 1. And then we have RCGT, which is Report Card uh, Grading Term. And so that is going to be where I'm going to set my equations. So I'm going to click on the first one. And again, I'm going to repeat the process for both. Click on it. And then uh, right here where it says type, I'm going to take it, uh, change it from total of points, which is how it is by default, an average of all assignments, and switch over to percent. Uh, then I will go over here and say include in formula and say select a formula. So this is actually kind of building the formula. So similar to the classic view, if you've used it before, you need to go through and choose the categories that you're actually going to use in your uh, equation. If you choose to make one of your assignments part of the equation, such as maybe a research paper that's worth 25% of the grade, you could choose to make an individual assignment part of the same equation. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do that. Um, going to go through and look and see, maybe I also want to include in the final exam, even though it won't be until the very last day, but I could say that is part of the equation. Press the Save button, and it's going to bring up this box here. So now I have to decide what is going to be my equation. So maybe I'm going to say the final exam is worth 20%. And then for the rest of my grade, maybe I'm going to say this one's worth 40 and this one is worth 40. Just being sure uh, that you do make it to where it adds up to uh, 100%. Once you apply that and press the save button, then it will actually show you your equation right here. That now becomes the new link, the new equation. So you would repeat that same process uh, down below. If you're not seeing some categories show up uh, as potential items uh, on this page, so when you go to percent and select, if you're not seeing all of the categories that you use here, then in 360 you may need to choose to enable those. So that is done actually on the categories tab. So in the categories tab is where you'd say, hey, these are the categories that I want to use in my gradebook and for future equations. So by default, it automatically chooses the report card grading columns because that's important for calculating the equation. But if you have additional ones, you may need to go through and check those. Uh, while you're also on this page, if you want to make the columns for these categories change colors so that you can easily identify your class participation assignments versus your classwork, you can also go over here and say, I want to change a color and assign a new color. Again, that has no impact on the equation. It's just an aesthetic uh, detail that allows you to easily sort through the 360 gradebook. Uh, so now if you were to go in and add a new item, go back to the Assignments tab, and scroll down, you will now see that when you go to set up your, uh, your weighted gradebook, uh, you will actually begin to see those new items are here for you to check. So that is the process in 360 for setting up uh, assignment uh, weights and calculating your, uh, your term grades.